Hello, and welcome back to Astral Codex's channel. This is a short guide on Dragon Fable's Ranger class, which you can train at Zoom in the Sand Sea. Ranger is a powerful offensive class with high damage per turn, also known as DPT, and a few solid but costly defensive options. Ranger's primary mechanic is known as Focus. You start each fight with zero stacks of focus, and can build up to five stacks. Using a ranged skill on the left side of the attack button builds one stack. The four defensive skills on the right side, Quick Reflexes, Cripple, Kick, and Hawk, remove four stacks. Building stacks of focus has two benefits. First, each stack of focus increases your critical hit multiplier by 0.25. At zero stacks, Ranger has a 1.75 crit multiplier like most classes. Critical hits do 1.7 times what a non-critical hit does. At 5 stacks, Ranger has a crit multiplier of 3, meaning that critical hits do a whopping 3 times as much damage as non-crits. Second, and more importantly, when Ranger has 5 stacks of focus, it gets double turns. That is, once per turn, after any Ranger skill is used while you have 5 stacks of focus, you get to act again. Combined with Ranger's high crit multiplier and the high uptime plus crit skill Spotter Shot, Ranger can output a very large amount of damage. In addition to focus, Ranger also gets a 5% per hit damage bonus for having either Strength or Dex as its highest main stat. If Strength and Dex are within your level divided by 10 of each other, then you get a 15% per hit damage bonus instead. This bonus is calculated after adding in your stats from gear. The key to effective ranger gameplay is to maximize your double turn uptime and use your defensive skills when necessary. Because ranger takes a long time to ramp up, you shouldn't use it for normal questing. Generally, for bosses, you should open up with quick reflexes, followed by 5 viper shots to build 5 focus while stacking a DOT on the enemy. For slightly more damage, you can set up 4 Viper Shots, then use Spotter's Drop before using the 5th Viper Shot. Afterwards, you should follow this with Armor Slash and Purge. You then loop Spotter into Dual Wield, and to Power into Dual Wield, until Armor Slash and Purge come off cooldown and you use those again. When your Viper Shot DOT runs out, do 5 more Viper Shots to keep the DOT on your opponent. As Ranger's attack button regenerates 15 mana, it can be used in place of dual wields to conserve mana in longer fights. Generally, you should also slot a non-attack special, such as Vanilla Ice Katana or Blade of Destiny. Tracker's Shot gives you a loopable plus 80 bonus, which lets you ignore smaller shields while bursting down the boss. Against multiple enemies, you can use Multi-Shot and Sky Assault for more average damage. That being said, in many recent fights, Ranger can't just brute force through with its high damage. In these cases, you'll need to use your surprisingly excellent defensive skills. Assuming you immediately rebuild focus afterwards and don't reduce your focus otherwise, Quick Reflexes is a 4 turn, 175 MPM shield with an effective 6 turn cooldown, and Hawk is a 50% heal with an effective 16 turn cooldown. Quick Reflexes by itself makes Ranger an excellent defensive class, with 4 out of 7 shield uptime. On the other hand, gear swapping with minus health gear before using Hawk means that Ranger can get a full heal every 17 turns if the fight requires. At level 90, you generally want to use 200 end and then a split between strength and dex. To get the full benefit from your passive, you should split your strength and dex so they are within 9 points of each other, after accounting for strength and dex from your gear. However, if you intend to spam shield or are forgoing dual wield, you can also do 200 end and 200 dex to maximize the damage from your DOT. The remaining points can be invested in either Wiz or Charisma. The primary strength of Ranger is its high DPT. In fact, with standard best in slot gear, Ranger can average around 1.2k damage on a single target every turn, and even more versus multiple bosses, putting it on par with Ice Scythe Ascendant and higher than every non-special offer class, 
except Chaos Weaver and Dragon Warrior. The other strength of Ranger is its powerful shield and heal, which lets it turtle past the challenges it cannot brute force with DPT, such as Ice and Dragons, or Ancient Duo. However, Ranger has three major weaknesses. The first is its long startup time. Almost every fight starts with stacking Venom until turn 6 or 7, meaning Ranger can struggle versus bosses that ramp up quickly. The second is its inflexibility. Unlike other top classes, Ranger cannot switch from defensive to offenses quickly. This can cause it to be awkward versus bosses with short rotations or with short windows of vulnerability. The third weakness is its high mana consumption, especially when using Hawk or Shield regularly. This makes mana management very important in longer fights, such as Inevitable Equilibrium or Ice and Dragons. That being said, even despite these weaknesses, Ranger's high DPT and excellent shield and heal make it one of the best bossing classes in Dragon Fable. This concludes the Ranger Guide. For a more in-depth explanation of how the skills and passives work, check out the links in the description. What are your thoughts about Ranger? Is 200 dex shield ranger an affront to god? What classes or topics would you like to see guides for next? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and good luck!